Hi, my name is Spencer Beery. I'm the head manager of the Iowa Hawkeye football team. Uh, I am the head manager along with 11 other managers to help out. Our day-to-day -day routine basically consists of setting up practice. We usually come up about an hour before each practice to set things up. We'll set up pads, balls, and other sort of equipment that they will need for their practices. Our different guys have position coaches that help work for. The offensive line has a manager, the running backs have a manager, and so on. Uh, each man is responsible for that position coach and helping them out with any sort of drills or pads that they might need for those drills. On game day, we help set up all the sorts of equipment and anything that they could need during the game. We'll set that out early morning, about four hours before each game. Uh, we have a lot of different things that not many people know about. Everyone just kind of helps out and fills a spot. So last week at camp just came off of, you know, kids day, we're about to go out here you know, finish up this week right, you know, to go, go out the right way and, and really work to improve every day. Go. That's it, that's it. Break, break. Hey, hey, watch it. When he's in there, he's got your shoulders like this. You've got to separate. Hey, good pickup, Brett. Good pickup. Nice job. Hey, nice job. Nice adjustment, Brett. Hit it, hit it, read it, read it. Get downhill, downhill. Back foul. 45. 45. Come on downhill. Bang him. That's it. That's it. That's it. Sit not bad. Hey, you see how I just flatten him out? Take him out. There you go. That's it. Now keep your feet. Keep your knees on to you. Keep your legs on to you. There you go. There you go. Now just drive. That's it. Break, break. Hey. That's it. Hey. Hey, if they're soft in this set, you just got to close on them, right? Is there a typical Kirk Ferentz coach, football player? I mean, what are some of their traits? Uh, well, we call them Iowa guys, <laughs> and they just, uh, uh, you can trust them. You can trust them that you're going to get a good day's work for your dollar, so to speak. So, you, you know, these are guys that they only know one way to go, and that's to go hard. Uh, I'm always shocked if I see a, an Iowa player, a guy come out of this program, that doesn't compete on every snap and that the game is not important to him. Usually they don't survive here if that's the case. They are team guys. They'll, they'll do whatever they need to do to help the team. Uh, and and, and they, they have success. They have success in the National Football League. And you know, there are a lot of programs uh, that guys are really high profile athletes in college and it doesn't transfer or tra you know translate to the uh, to the pro game. Uh, Kirk and his staff they do an excellent job of, of teaching and coaching these guys. It's, it's it's great to come here because you see them in settings like you'd see in our league. They run similar type defenses, they run similar type offenses. So we have a chance to see them perform in the same type basically the same type of schemes that we're going to see at the next level. Stop 9 of 11 on our bus tour through the Big Ten takes us to Iowa City. Dave Revson alongside Jerry DiNardo and Howard Griffith. The Hawkeyes coming off their sixth January Bowl in the last eight seasons. As good as last year was, though, this is the season everyone's pointing to, a year of massive expectations. Well, I find myself saying this is my favorite stop a lot. But when you talk about watching a practice, there may be some other programs that run as good a practice, but nobody could run a better practice. There may be some other programs that get as much done in practice, but not more than Iowa gets done. When you look around certain times, this is a perfect learning environment for a player. I can't wait to watch another Iowa practice. You know, Coach, when you have an opportunity to go through the depth chart, really get an opportunity to see who's on the roster, I always find it interesting. I looked at the defensive side. They have 24 players listed on their depth chart on the defensive side, and only four of those guys are underclassmen, sophomores or freshmen. And I think that really speaks to why this coaching staff is so good. They're able to develop players. Not a lot of young guys have to play on defense, and when you get your shot, you are ready to go because – there's been so much consistency with the coaching staff. Now that's one of the reasons they've been so successful. It's a great developmental program. We've seen that through the years with Kirk Ferentz, and obviously this year, no different. Last day of camp, uh, we're going out here trying to finish up on a good note. Um, it's been a long camp, but hopefully we can uh, uh, go out here and get, out, get the scrimmage done. Um, hopefully we end the scrimmage that we have today on a good note so we can have a successful season.
a good time. I mean, I got to meet the older guys, and that was a lot of fun, and then, you know, a lot of team bonding at camp, so overall a positive experience.